Pat, welcome back. So, how's pre-season been? Uh, cheers, mate. Uh, yeah, it's been been all right. Yeah, um, boys came back fit. They had programs to be with them for the summer, but everyone came back in good good condition. Um, obviously, we've retained quite a number of the players from last season, so the messages, you know, consistent messages that we've had for the last into last season and uh, through pre-season, we were able to try and have a little bit more into it. Uh, we've obviously signed some new players, so it's important that they're understanding of what we're looking for uh, in the squad and in the team. And uh, you kept the majority of the squad together this season. Uh, was that something that you kind of identified early on? Yeah, I think um, speaking to uh, the board, um, my understanding was that you know there's been a bit of a change over in the squad over the last few few uh, summers. Um, it was important that we tried to identify the players that we felt had done well uh, for us, um, and we believed that they could help us again next season. So I was trying to retain as many of that that group as we could. Um, obviously, we, we're going to lose some of the loans naturally, and uh, they go back to their parent clubs. Um, so yeah, we're pleased with the, the, the managed to keep or retain uh, the players we're looking to retain from last season. And there was a big improvement last year in the second half of the season. Uh, how do we carry that over into the new season? Uh, well, I think some of the players wouldn't have experienced some of the things that we experienced in the first half of players like uh, Magara uh, Gomez, Callum Tappan, uh, etc. Uh, Ollie, he he's rejoined us. Um, so there is a we left to see uh, towards the end of the season, and we were, we were hoping <laughs> we would like the season to continue. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. So it's important we try and you know harness what we had in the second part of the season and, and try and kick on and get a better start to than we had last season. Mm. And uh, you mentioned just there uh, before a few departures, most of them kind of loan players. Uh, has it been difficult trying to replace them? Well, I think the loan players did really well for us, and you can see that, like Sir Dylan, for example, he's he's now playing in the first team at air, he's only 17, we gave him an opportunity to play first team football. He, to be fair to Dylan, he took that um, and he, you know, he played on Friday night against Dundee United, I watched the game on the telly, I thought he was excellent. Um, Luke, uh, who'd kind of been on the periphery of the Aloha squad, spoke to Andy Graham a couple of times over the pre-season uh, and Luke's done, I think he's done really well for Andy, so I think he's looking to potentially keep, you know, try and keep a place in the Aloha team. So I think our loans last year, Scotty Honeyman as well, who was here the previous season as well, they've all kind of benefited from coming in and playing uh, in our first team. Unfortunately for us that means that they do well and their parent clubs want to keep them, um, but it works It works kind of both ways. We, we get the benefit of them whilst they're here and then obviously uh, as young players we want to see them kick on and you know have a good uh, professional career if they can. Yeah, and uh, you made some new signings as well, some more experienced signings. Um, what do you think they're going to bring to the squad? Uh, well, I think the average age, I spoke about a few times, the average of the, the squad um, you know, it's quite young, uh, and there was also within that some even like Sahindi, for example, at 27, 28, he never played at this level before. Um, so it's trying to add players with a little bit of experience. You've seen the, the impact that uh, Mo had for us in the second half of the season and Callum Tappan had for the second half of the season. So it's trying to kind of get a little bit more experienced players that won know the league or players that played maybe a little bit higher that are, um, you know, we can manage to convince them to come in. So I'm hoping the experienced players will, will help the younger ones on the pitch and can almost kind of help coach them through the game as well. Um, obviously from where standing at the side here, the balls are over the other side, it's sometimes hard to get your message across uh, that quickly, but experienced players can help do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's quite a tricky start to the season, you've got the, the added fixture of the, the Challenge Cup. Has that kind of impacted your preparations at all? Not really. Um, obviously the fixtures came out, we, we know we've got a really really tough start in terms of the, the teams we play, but we've got to play each team twice. Um, so regardless if you play in the start or midway through or whatever, obviously it'd be uh, you know, good to go off to a good start, it's going to be challenging because we've, you know, we've played some really good teams of uh, Harsh have had a really good pre-season just going by the results. So we know on Friday night it's going to be a really tough game. Um, we played them here at home last season, it was 1-1, quite a competitive game. We played them towards the end of the season, or second last game of the season away from home, and it was a bit of a basketball game in terms of the scoreline. Um, so we know it's going to be a really tough game, so we're trying to prepare the players tonight, and we'll try again on Thursday to prepare them for the Friday night's game. And looking at the season as a whole, what do you think the aim is? Uh, well, the aim is to get more points uh, than we had last season. The aim is to score more goals and see less goals. That's that's a, is a minimum aim. We've set some targets with the players in, in the dressing room. Uh, we believe we've got a good squad together, and it's up to us to try and kind of get as many points as we possibly can uh, um, throughout the season.